But to understand static stability, what I want you to do is you remember, you remember that nice china cabinet in your kitchen, right? Or in your living room, or in your formal dining room, or in your library, or what have you. Those really fancy plates that only come out for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to grab a bowl, a plate, and another bowl, all right? Those real fancy dishes. It can't be done with cheap shit, okay? So if you got cheap dishes, I'm sorry, can't do this. Next thing, what I want you to do is I want you to run out to the garage and find just a random steel marble, preferably about four to five pounds, because that's the only way to properly describe. I'm joking, I'm joking. Do not go and grab your mom's expensive dishes or your dad's, you know, your parental figure's expensive dishes. Those are your inheritance. That's the only thing that's gonna pay off your student loan debt, so don't destroy those. So just go grab some normal bowls, some normal plates, and normal marble. And all I want you to do is stick that little marble, that bowl, whatever you got, you know, stick it in the bowl, on the plate, and on top of the bowl. So first up, we've got our example of positive static stability. Pick up that bowl with that ball in it, that marble in it, whatever you got, and disturb it slightly. Just go boop. And what does that ball do? It goes up the wall of the bowl and then comes right back down to the middle of the bowl. That is positive static stability. What does the ball do after it is initially disturbed? Let's put this in the context of an airplane now. So we've got an airplane flying around, fat, dumb, and happy, shoving a bunch of fresh cheese curds in our face hole. They're making all that fun squeaky noises, right? Next thing you know, we overfly a little bit of a road. So we get a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of boop, a little bump, bump up the jet. Sorry. Then the airplane comes right back to center. You didn't really have to do anything. You didn't really have to counteract that bump. You just went bump, and then the airplane settled back down. Positive static stability. We see why that would be important in a training airplane.